guys, this is Mark from ChaseBeyond.com. It's good to be with you today and happy Easter to everyone. I have a short message I want to give and I hope it's a blessing to you. Now, here's what, here's what I want to speak to you about when I think about Easter, when I think about Passover, when I think about unleavened bread and the, 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 the celebration that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday that we're going to be celebrating. And that is this. Most people today, like the Jewish person, they, they live by the law. And they're going to get all the leaven out of their house. The whole, their whole house, they're going to get all the leaven out. And they're going to look all over if there's going to be any, any yeast anywhere in their house. They've got to get it out. So they don't want to break the law. And when I see Christianity today, I see so many people just like that. They're trying to live just enough so they're not condemned. If I can just get some fire insurance and not go to hell. If I can just be good enough so I don't have to feel guilty. If I do things just right so I don't feel bad for myself. We live that way, but that's not what Christ died for. He didn't die so that you could live good enough. He lived good enough for you. You see, the moment Jesus took your place on the cross and died for you, you now are free. You have peace with God. There is no more condemnation. The only condemnation that you and I live in now is the, is the condemnation that you place upon yourself. You're doing it to yourself, and, and God doesn't want you to do that. So we find in Romans chapter 5, this great statement down here where it says, But the free gift is not like the offense, for if by one man's offense many died, much more the grace of God and the gift by the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, abounded to many. So in other words, I'm not living my life with every moment saying, I hope I did right. Now I live my life every moment saying, what am I going to abound to? Every day is better. Everything I do in life is greater because I live in the much more, not in the condemnation of the, of the one sin. Life has changed because of the, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now how do I enter into that? By faith. I simply place my faith in, in His finished work that Jesus took my place, He rose again, and he said, I can have eternal life and I can live free of guilt, free of sin. I believe Jesus did that for me. And by faith, I now have peace with God. I am justified and I can live in abundance of God's grace, God's blessings. I don't live in fear. I don't live in, in condemnation. I don't live in guilt. I live in victory and I live in God's righteousness. I live for him with my head towards him, towards heaven. And I hope that's your uh, faith today, that you would do the same thing. Pray, receive Christ, walk in the fullness of God, and live in God's joy, in God's blessings, in God's righteousness. That's what Easter's all about. I hope you have a great day. God bless.